about to prepare our dinner with some garden harvest this and then the uh the beets i'm going to we're going to eat the beets uh raw so i just like uh slice this and then uh garnish it with the mint the mint i have it from the garden also and i'm going to saute the fennel and then i have shrimp and then some cheese and some salami i think that's it that's what we are going to have for dinner just a simple like quick very quick to prepare dinner first i'm going to steam on some potatoes i have bratwurst here i'm going to grill this one too this is already fully cooked i'm going to grill this with a shrimp the sausage first and then the um, shrimp I'll open the window so it doesn't like it's not too smoky in here And then this is shrimp. I'm going to grill this. This is lemon from the backyard garden. I'll just like squeeze a uh, lemon there. And then I'm going to use this Cajun seasoning that we got from Baba Camp. for a little bit. It's just been marinated already. Bad burst and then the shrimp are almost ready. I'm going to use the cheese that we got from Solva. I just use half because I don't think I'll be able to finish but what I'm most excited about is this like lavender this one Ooh, lavender pesto I'll just remove the cover I'll just replace the cover this is sage I think super colorful It's hard to make the. This is Sage Derby. So I like slice half of this, half of the lavender, and half of the other one. And then maybe we can like eat the rest on Friday. And this one. This is like a German cheese. Kind of like beer cause. It is like. The, the smell is like pretty strong <laughs> but it's like delicious it's very yummy like my french friend said uh, the stinkier the cheese the better it tastes i'll just slice this into cubes kind of like bite-sized pieces They are so good. I'm cutting them into this size so it's easier to eat. Oh, it's so good. The purple cheese, the lavender cheese, lavender pesto, and then the green cheese. How colorful is that? Are the sausages. Yum yum. Let's slice them too. Like this. So it's easier to eat. So it's like a like more of like just a derbs. Let's put the sausage on a like this like baking dish. So 
so it doesn't stain the cheese board. All right, so juicy and so good. And then we have the shrimp too. This is Gyoja bead that I harvested from the garden. Look at how gorgeous. But this oxidizes really fast. So I have to slice it when we're about to go ready to eat. And uh, I have to squeeze lemon too. Look at how pretty. Why does that look like onion? It does? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful, no? Mm. It's, it's beetroot. It's very nutritious. So let's just put it like that and then garnish it with meat. Like that. And then. I need to squeeze a lemon. And then let's garnish with mint. Josh, can you hand me over the mint, please? Okay. We have the cheese and then the beautiful cheese and the what do we have there, Josh? Explain. We have the lavender cheese, the sage derby cheese, regular cheese, strawberries, kumquat. And then here we have potatoes, potatoes and shrimp. And then the, the beets and then the sausages. Beets look wonderful. Yes. The beets are very pretty. And then I'm going to get the get the plates and then the the drinks. I have the wine from that we got from Shandon from Napa. Second, let me look for it first. This one. The blanc. This one. This is from Napa. This glass is also from or like flute, tulip flute, I think that's what it's called. It's also from from the same from the same place. Here's what we're having for dinner with some harvest from the backyard garden. What are we having, Josh? We're having shrimp, potatoes, sausage, kyoja, cheese, and fruits. Strawberries and kumquats from the backyard garden. Let's eat. This is a Josh plate. Josh plate is very colorful. Thank you.